What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here at Seize Candies, which has been ingrained in the fabric of Los Angeles and the world for the last 101 years, and yes, does use the recipes of Mary C., who helped found the store with her son in 1921. Let's get into it. So Mary's recipes were first put into play by her son, Charles C., who moved her and the rest of his family to Southern California with dreams of owning his own candy company. The first store in 1921 opened at 135 Northwestern Avenue. By 1925, they already had a dozen stores and they increased visibility with this crafty idea to have a customized Harley door-to-door delivery candy mobile. Pretty sweet. In 1931, Charles C. had the great idea to rebound from the Great Depression with the Sunlit Candy Studio to allow people to actually see how the chocolate was made. In 1952, in preparation for the soon-to-become legendary job-switching episode, Lucille Ball visited the C's factory on La Cienega to prepare for the role and the infamous candy scene. In 1972, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger purchased C's Factory and they became part of the Berkshire Hathaway Company, which they still are to this day. And yes, Warren Buffett does love C's Candies. In 1976, C's went international and they opened their first C's Candy Shop outside of the United States in Kowloon, Hong Kong, and it is still open to this day. On July 18th, 2012, Guinness Book of World Records declared this Seize Chocolate Lollipop the world's largest. This giant confection weighed over 7,000 pounds and it was equal to 145,000 normal Seize Candies lollipops. Check out this tidbit. So singer slash icon Cher was working at a Seize Candy store in 1962 when she met Sonny Bono, subsequently quit her job to become his housekeeper and eventually superstar. So nowadays, Seize Candy has more than 250 locations worldwide, 6,000 employees, and close to $500 million a year in revenue. And it all started here in Los Angeles. I think I'm going to go get me some chocolate right now. All right, LA, it's been a minute.